What is going on guys, Grave here. Today I want to talk a little bit more about Call of Duty uh, World War II Vanguard, which is going to be apparently this year's installment that uh, Sledgehammer is going to be making. No confirmation on that yet, but all the leaks have been kind of pointing to another World War II game made by Sledgehammer. And as of yesterday, uh, you know, I, I'm always trying to kind of keep up with a lot of the things that are said about the game, even if it is leaks and you know whatnot in case we get any big news. But a lot of the kind of a big leakers out there, Tom Henderson being one of them, has kind of put out that uh, the game is pretty much an absolute disaster as of right now. I uh, said so I have more on that at a later date. This was, like I said, tweeted yesterday. Apparently, there's been a lot of issues with this game, and I'm assuming it's probably kind of, once again, kind of the same issue that was with this year's game. Um, Activision decided, hey, Treyarch, it's your turn to make it, and kind of threw it to them. Uh, I think Sledgehammer is going to have kind of limited time, once again, to make a game within a year's kind of year span. So that's going to, you know, cause a lot of issues. And also, I think another reason it's kind of a disaster is when all these leaks came out and then were pretty much confirmed be, to be, you know, from very good sources anyway, this is going to be another World War II game. A lot of the community was not happy with that. Now, there are some people out there, don't get me wrong, that really did enjoy Call of Duty World War II, but when they heard it was going to be another World War II game yet again, a lot of the community was really disappointed. A lot of the pro community was disappointed. I think the community right now is pretty much split between either they're really excited about it uh, because they like the World War II era or they're really disappointed and probably considering not even buying it. Uh, and of course, over the last couple of years, a lot of people did like Modern Warfare, a lot of people did like Black Ops Cold War, but both games have had their issues as well. And I think adding this to it is kind of like, you know, just insult to injury. You know, a lot of people don't want a, a, another World War II style game, uh, another World War II style Call of Duty game, no matter what it is, just... They weren't really wanting that style error of a game. Uh, it just, I think if they would have made it Vietnam, people would have been a lot more happy uh, with the situation, you know. Uh, some people I know are not big fans of Sledgehammer. Some people aren't fans of their games in the past. Uh, I think some fans might have even been happier if they had gone back to jetpacking, to be honest. So I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Do you think that this game has already kind of not really failed before it came out, but it's going to have a long road ahead of it when it is announced, when we do find out more about it. Is it going to be more difficult for this game to gain traction, uh, I guess, over time? Is it going to be more difficult for this game to be a, a popular COD, considering, like I said, the last few years, a lot of people have been disappointed with either Modern Warfare or Black Ops Cold War. A lot of people, like I said, are unhappy with Sledgehammer. A lot of people didn't like Call of Duty World War II. And even if they did like it, a lot of people are just not wanting to go back once again, like I said, to that style error Call of Duty game. So maybe, uh, like I said, I think a Vietnam uh, era or maybe something just modern. I I'm not sure what would have been the best solution. Uh, I have no idea, honestly, uh, what the community as a whole would like to see. But I I'm curious what you guys think. Are, are you kind of on the fence already about the game before we've even really seen any gameplay or heard more about it? You know, kind of that thing or... Are you looking forward to it? Or are you kind of just hopefully optimistic, I guess, like some may be? I'm curious what you guys think, so leave me a comment with your thoughts down in the comment section. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. The website, along with a 5% discount code, is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.